This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to build your awesome online presence. All right, welcome back to Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku. Today, I'm with Sean from Kaka Life. Hello. Stands for uh, Korean Angler in California. Me and Johnson were just in LA for just a couple days. Real quick trip. And then I hit up Sean and he was like, oh yeah, let's go fishing. And he's got a YouTube channel that he runs down here in LA. So if you want to see some LA fishing, he does some really interesting fishing as well. So the type of fishing we're going to be trying with him today is called ISO fishing. And it's a common fishing that's done in Japan and Korea. So I've never done it before. Well, we're right next to this jetty here in Long Beach. And we're going to be fishing for calico bass, opal eye, sheephead, um, anything else we could possibly Half catch? Moon. Half moon. And the bait we're using today is green peas. He says you can catch almost anything on green peas. Yeah, even yellowtail. Even yellowtail? That's crazy. See, I, I've never used green peas as bait, but sounds interesting. Just chum in the waters. Uh -huh. The old the fish group up. Nice. Oh, and check this out. He uses, look at the hooks he used. He uses these eyeless hooks. Uh -huh. No eyes on them. You see, carry like 12 kinds, different kinds of hooks. Yeah. So they have like different shapes uh -huh. and different colors and yeah. different sizes. You need to make sure that it is on top of your hook. The line is on top of your hook. Mm. So that when you set your hook, the, the hook goes like that. So that hooking a, motion. Uh -huh. So you have a lot better chance. Yeah, that's something I, ne I never really thought about. Makes sense, though. So. Look how long it is. I know. <laughs> this is a 18 foot rod. Uh -huh. You need to make sure that your bobber is touching the knot. Otherwise, oh, I see. You cannot, your bobber can show anything. And then when it sinks at least a bit, you can set your hook. It's hard to tell from the video, but this pole that I'm using is 18 feet long. And I'm normally using a eight and a half foot pole. So this was a very different experience. Oh, I got one. Nice. Got one. Got one. Ooh, 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 nice. Oh, dang. Yeah, you said it goes down, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's going down. Oh, it's a half moon. Half moon? Little guy. Felt bigger than that. <laughs> half moon. Uh, first fish on the ESO fishing. It felt bigger. It was like, oh, oh, oh. I think I guess because it's so sensitive at the tip. Ooh, lost it. Oh. Had another one. I wonder why they like the green peas. Just the color, you think? Yeah, I think the color. I want to try fishing with some peas up in up in the uh, Bay Area. See if I can catch anything. Oh, that one. Oh, it's a mopalai. Mopalai. Nice. Ooh. See, look at that. Oh. Yeah. Big jumps. Another half moon. I like see why people like this video. Your videos are like really nice. <laughs> Thank you. As a fisherman, like, I'm not, I'm probably the worst out of any of the other guys. <laughs> They're all better than me. I just know how to cook, so. Oh, I got one, got one. Nice. I feel a lot. Oh yeah, it's an opal eye. Nice. Oh yeah, swimming there. Yeah. All right. The species of fish that we're actually, I wanted to catch. Oh, this one got, this one swallowed it. I'm alive for now. Got a live well. Nice. Whoa, got it. Oh boy. Yeah, they do fight better. Yeah, they do fight better, right? Yeah. Another half moon. There you go. There's another one. 
Oh, it's a, I think that's an old boy. Yeah, it's an old boy. Alright. Yeah, another old boy. Yeah, they're changing their body color. Uh huh. Oh. Because they can do uh, camouflage. You know? Oh. When you cut it, it's pretty dark. Yeah, because the, the water color. Of the water. Oh. But then since this is white, they're changing their color brighter. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. The fight is pretty fun. Right? Yeah. For you know, for a smaller fish like that, like, uh -huh. is it mainly the fish or the the rod? Both, huh? Yeah. Watch it, watch it. Oh, it's going down. It's going down. It's going down. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. And then slowly, slowly. Yeah, just lift. Bring it in slowly. Take your time. Take your time because they fight. We can just leave the rod. Yeah. There you go. Little little old boy. Nice, nice job. Oh, Jack Smelt. <laughs> Damn, Jack Smelt. Oh, what is this? So in Asia, they like to fry it. Uh huh. Or it's just like. It's pretty. In sashimi. Oh, with really? The with the bones. Yeah. Cool looking fish. They're looking like big birds. Little fish. One of these little guys again. But look at that eye. Wow. Oh boy. So we just got back to the dock and we're just gonna prepare it right here on the boat. We're gonna fillet it and we're gonna sashimi the opo eye. And if you didn't know, opo eye is actually really good for sashimi. And in Japan and Korea, like they have it all the time. Um, you rarely see it in the, in the States. But I used to prepare opo eye at, at a different restaurant I used to work at. But we're gonna do it right now, all right? I'm just gonna scale it first. So I'm gonna scale all of them and gut them. We're gonna do two ways. This one I took the pin bones out, and we're gonna sear the skin on these ones. Oh, uh, these smaller ones that I cut in half, we'll take the skin off. And I don't have my knives with me because we just flew here and then we didn't check anything in. I'm using my brother's kitchen knife. It's sort of, sort of not that sharp. So we're gonna torch these ones with the skin on. The torch is strong. It's hard to see too. Oh my God. Alright, so one of them I filleted with the head on, so we're gonna use this for a little presentation. Put the skewer in the tail, right at the top, stick it through, and you just kind of twist it a little bit, and stab the skewer down, so you end up with a little fish like that.
Yeah, let's get a move. If you like what you see, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Is that opal eye sashimi? Half of it skin on. And the other half with the skin off. Thank you, Sean, for taking us. It was good. It was a good time. Thank you yeah, for teaching fun. me that. Thank you for coming out. New technique, ESO fishing. If you guys want to see more about that type of fishing, uh, check out his channel. Put the link in the description below. But first, let's taste this fish. Opal Ai Sashimi. Again, I'm going to start with the one with no skin. Put it with a little wasabi, soy sauce. Cheers. Are you going to eat? Oh, uh, no, I'm fine. <laughs> what does it taste like? Mm. It's good. Chewy fish. Yeah, it's really right? chewy compared to other white fish. Mm -hmm. It's a chewy fish, but that's what the kind of texture that some people like, like especially in Korea and Japan. Mm -hmm. People like this chewiness of it. Mm hmm. That's good. You don't like raw fish either? Uh, I don't eat any seafood. Mm. You don't eat any seafood, but he fishes a lot. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you friend. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. Soda. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. Okay, cheers. Come cheers. This is my go to after work beer. I always drink this. I'm trying to skin on. Okay, go ahead, try the skin on. With wasabi? Yeah. Quality is too good. It's good? Yeah. Yeah. How, how do you think? Yeah, I think it's good too. Mm. Yeah, I really like the texture. How do you like this? That's really good. The it's really good. Flavor wise, it's very clean. Yeah. It's a very mild fish. Um, and with the skin on, it adds even more, even more texture. And then there's like a lot of fat in between the meat and the skin. Mm -hmm. And when you put fire up to it, exactly. you get that flavor. Mm -hmm. So whenever a fish has a little more fat content, you gotta keep the skin on. Then torch the skin, it'll bring out the fat and it'll bring out more flavor. Yeah, I think I like it better with skin on. You like it better skin on? Mm -hmm. Nice. Try it with a little shiso too. It should be good. I have ponzu too. Mm -hmm. Oh, Yuzu Ponzu, mm. yeah. More sweet. Mm, that's more good. Sweet. Yeah, more mm. sweet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, if you guys didn't know about Opoi sashimi, there are a ton of them down here in the LA area. And you can catch them just off peas that you just saw. And you don't have to go on a boat to fish for Opoi. If you check out his channel, uh, he just fishes off them for off, just off the rocks and he catches a bunch. And you don't really have to worry about parasites with this fish. It's pretty rare that you'll see any parasites. I mean, Sean, you caught more. I haven't seen anything, but then I heard that someone saw the tongue-eating parasite mm -hmm. on the side of an opali. Mm -hmm. So the tongue-eating parasites, which are like pretty everywhere. common in a lot of fish, um, even surf perch, uh, there's a lot of snappers have them. Mm -hmm. you know, they'll usually see them in the gills or in the, in the mouth. Can you still eat it? But you can still eat it. Those don't do anything. You can even eat those. I saw a sure. video. Yeah, oh, Japanese oh, like fry them. <laughs> yeah, you can even eat those. Definitely an easy fish to sashimi. This is a good beer too that Jocelyn's drinking. Yeah, Koshihikari Ichigo beer. Koshihikari Ichigo. It's a good one. Yeah, this one's pretty We have good. this one at Hinata too. That one's good too. <laughs> that one's good on the daily. All right, guys. Well, we had a good day today, I think. Yeah, thank you. Really appreciate it. You guys nice taking us? You, nice you. to meet you too. Yeah. Next time we go for yellowtail? Yeah. No, no problem. No problem, yeah. <laughs> we can do it. Yeah, and we sounds can go good. For lobsters when the season starts. Oh, lobsters. All right, guys, if you liked the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe. <laughs> See you guys next time. Peace. Thank you, Squarespace, for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is the all in one platform to build your website. They have amazing modern template designs that have been created by their world-class design team. Check this out. I really like this Wexley one. And this Basil one looks perfect for a restaurant website. Every design comes with the mobile version as well. You can even add open tables so your customers can make reservations straight from your website. Check out squarespace.com for a free trial. Go to squarespace.com slash outdoorchefflife to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Peace.